a good day. For this week's video, I will be trying out Chloe Ting's Hip Dips Workout. It's a 10 minute side booty workout that I am really looking forward to trying out. For the next seven days, I have hip dips. If you've seen my other videos, you'll see that. And I think I've always had hip dips, genetically I think. It's absolutely natural, it's normal, but it's just something that if I had the choice, I would not have because, you know, I don't find them that flattering. And obviously when you wear like tight leggings or like a tight dress, it's more like noticeable but you know it's not that extreme so I'm okay with it but I've seen this workout that I really wanted to try and you know just really see what it can do yeah well I'll show you guys a before then at the end of the challenge I'll show you guys an after and I also wanted to say that um, hip dips is something you just can't get rid of because it's natural but you can reduce the fat around the area and build more muscle and eventually that can like fade away the appearance of hip dips obviously I don't know if that actually even works but yeah that's why I'm here I want to test this out and yeah we'll try to build a side booty and with that being said if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel down below give this video a big thumbs up and also follow me on my social medias and let's get started let's take a look at my before let's get started Not bad. I like this. I mean, you can tell, like, you, when you do this, the target's this part here. So it's very good. You know, this is something new for me. Why can't I do this? <laughs> this exercise was very difficult. I don't even know if I'm doing anything. Squeeze the glutes. These exercises were fine, as I have done these before. Not bad. This one is very interesting. Halfway through. Oh, my glutes are hurting. My booty. I have to use this to support myself. Five more exercises to go. And that's the workout done. Ten minutes, not bad at all. It finished quite quickly. I was new to some of the exercises so I was f trying to like figure out how to do it correctly I forgot the name I'll put it up here especially when I was doing that workout I didn't know if I was doing it correctly and and this was my first time doing that so I was quite new and yeah it's kind of interesting day two I carried on just fine with the workout oh I'm tired Hi guys, so today is day three and yesterday my glutes were quite sore. Um, I think because of these few specific exercises that are included in this workout and, and I wasn't kind of comfortable with that. It was just a bit new to me. Let's work out. I'm not looking forward to doing the laying down back sort of kick workouts because they make my glutes very uncomfortable. I don't really like doing them. But anyways, yeah, let's get on with today's workout. After day four, I thought I was getting used to the most difficult exercises. But I was still a bit sore and I just made sure that I stretch out really well after each workout. Mainly my butt muscles were sore. Done. My glutes are on fire. Last day of this challenge, you guys. <laughs> So happy to finish this challenge today i feel the pain was absolutely worth it after seeing myself doing these same exercises on day seven i couldn't even do these properly on day one and now look at me here oh my <laughs> god So 
guys, I just finished the workout and, and before I show you guys the before and after pictures to see if we can notice any difference, I just wanted to say that I'm not expecting, you know, kind of huge results because I've only done this workout for a week and it's kind of hard to see results in a week, especially considering the area I'm trying to work on. This would also give us an idea of how long we kind of need to do this workout in order to expect results. Obviously, if we don't see any results within one week, then, you know, it just shows that we need to do it for longer you know a month two months maybe a few months in order to see like proper concrete results but yeah I wanted to try this workout and you know just kind of talk you guys and just share my experience and as I have said previously in this video that I wasn't a fan of some of the exercises because they made my glutes very uncomfortable some of the exercises I was very new to as well other than that I think it's a good 10 minute workout build a side booty and trying to lose hip dips or like get rid of hip dips it's kind of different to losing belly fat belly fat if you cut down on food and you do like a good amount of workout then you'll definitely see some sort of results and I think hip dips is something that anyone can have someone with my size as well as someone who's much more thinner than me can have it as well it's different to losing you know belly fat so that's all I just wanted to say yeah let's take a look at the before and after pictures I don't think I see any difference in the after pictures maybe doing this for a lot longer could result in a change comment down below if you have tried any hip dip exercises and if they worked for you that is all for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.